Smart robot vacuums are very popular nowadays. Almost every smart home has one and the ones that don't will soon get one. There's a lot of options to choose from when making a decision on which smart vacuum to buy. Shark has the IQ, Yuffie with its RoboVac, and the most popular in my opinion, iRobot with a large selection of Roomba vacuums. In this video, I will show you how to get your Roomba integrated into HomeKit using hoops. So stay tuned. One of the advantages of owning a Roomba is the ability to automate your cleanings by simply going to the app and turning it on or asking your home assistant of choice to start your Roomba. Roomba works natively with Lady A and Google Home, but not with HomeKit. But I'm going to show you how to incorporate it with your HomeKit setup. Once I got my Roomba i7 Plus into my HomeKit home, setting up automations to clean the house when no one is home or at a certain time of day made it much simpler to keep our home clean. Even though there's no vacuum category supported by HomeKit as of now, there's still a way to get it working and that is with Homebridge or in my case, Hoops. The process to integrate Roomba with HomeKit should work with any model that connects to Wi-Fi. I have both the Roomba 960 and the i7 Plus working in my HomeKit home. You should also know that because HomeKit doesn't support robot vacuums natively, the Roomba will appear in your home as a switch. The dustbin being full will be represented as a contact sensor, as well as a docking status and running status. What this means is that when the dustbin is full, it will display as an open contact sensor. Same goes for docking and running. If the Roomba is running, the docking contact sensor will display as open, and so on and so forth. You will also lose some features that are native to the app, like asking Siri to clean a specific room if you're using one of the latest Roombas that map out your home. If you want a specific room to be clean rather than the entire home, as will be the case if you ask Siri to turn on Roomba, then you can always head to the iRobot app and select the room that you wish to be clean. Nonetheless, the ability to ask Siri to turn on Roomba and have her clean the house, head back to the docking base once done or when she needs to charge, makes hands-free vacuuming a reality. The following steps will work with Homebridge and Hoops, and the setup process is fairly simple. Once done, you will be able to ask Siri to start your Roomba or simply set up automations that best work for you. First thing we have to do is log in by going to hoops.local, put in your username and password, head on over to plugins. Here we're going to search for Roomba. And once we get the plugin available, look for the certified Roomba plugin from iRobot. Click on that. Now, uh, this is the plugin information page, which tells you all the features and uh, how to install it. We're gonna actually look at right here. This actually explains to you the steps that needs to be taken, but I will go over that with you. Now we go, you install the plugin, head over to configuration, and this is where you will input all the information that I will show you how to get in just a bit. The first thing we need to do is get the IP address for your room. Head over to the iRobot app, scroll down to robot settings, Wi-Fi settings, and here you should find the IP address. For the following steps, I will leave all the information that you need on the description below so you could just uh, copy and paste.
At this point, all you will need to do is to get the VLID and password of your Roomba. To do this, follow the instructions on your terminal after the last step. On your Roomba, while on the docking base, press both the home button and spot button at the same time until you hear a sound and either the light or the Wi-Fi symbol starts blinking. At this point, you can head back to your computer and press any key. You should now have everything you need to configure your Roomba. Head back to Hoops and fill in the required information on the configuration of the Roomba plugin. If you liked and found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And while you're at it, share it with anyone who might find it useful. With Matter right around the corner, hopefully Roomba gets native support. But in the meantime, this workaround seems to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.